Now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. Have you gone overboard with spending? With all the sales and deals out there, it's hard not to. But beware, problem solver Susan Hogan shows you how you can have a great holiday without paying for it through 2012. It is so easy to get carried away, I know. While it's such a great feeling to give, it's not such a great feeling to get the bills. The worst present you can give yourself for the holidays is more debt. No sale, no hot holiday toy, no impulse purchase is worth it at 20% on your credit card. First, if you can't afford it, put it down. In a perfect world, you would never charge more than you could pay in full when the bill arrived. Worst case scenario, plan to pay it out no longer than three months. Track your spending. The National Foundation for Credit Counseling surveyed shoppers and found 56% had no idea where they spent their money by the end of the month. Think about it. We work so hard for our own money and then we spend it so casually. So do yourself a favor. Over the next 30 days, write down every single cent you spend. So track your leaks, meaning when you see it there in black and white, it's a real wake-up call. Prioritize your debt. Credit card debt is particularly unforgiving, even with new protections. Aim to pay it off. The best boost to your credit score is paying off big amounts of debt and then paying on time every time with the credit card after that. And did you know a missed credit card payment stays on your credit history for seven years? Finally, make it your resolution to get out of debt and stay out of debt in 2012. Get your credit report to see just how much you owe. Then organize your debt in terms of smallest to the largest and call creditors to reduce the interest rate. And this may also be the best time to do an inventory. Look at all of the gifts you bought and really think whether it's necessary to give all of them out. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.